much better, don't you? Look who it is. I did not count on seeing that wagon again. Nor you, for that matter. The only people you won't be seeing are the folks that took it. Uh, I take it they aren't the only ignorant bullying clodhoppers in these parts. But I can live in glorious hope. Now, it wasn't a trouble now, was it? No, it was a pleasure. Well, yeah. let me give you something for your pleasure. Ah. What we got here? Ah, how about this? Provide a man a tincture, he'll be well for a day. Teach him to make one, he might be well a while longer. Well, I'll make sure to try and make this. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It won't work for anything chronic, but you may not need it to. Well, if you see me on my travels and you're in need of something, make sure you come and say hello. Travel safe now. Shit. Pay with my body and my mind. Yeah, what would you all pay? Yeah, I, mean, I, I seen things. I seen bad things. Hey, mister. Will you give me some money? Sure. Well, thank you. Say, say, where you from? Around. <laughs> Came from around here. Yeah, it was you I'd leave. This town lost its goddamn soul a long time ago. <laughs> Nothing but nasty, miserable people. Yeah? Yeah, ever since them, them greys moved here. They're a bunch of no-good white trash. Yeah, they, they somehow got rich. About 50 years ago, they moved here, caused a whole heap of trouble. Yeah, they reckon they was, reckon they was Yankee spies during the war and everything. That's so. Yeah, sure. Hmm, Janice told me. I go, boy. Anyway. Though in truth, this man deserves no earthly respect from us, as a sign of respect to our creator, we pay respect to the dead. Oh, Father, what do we say about a man who lost his way so awfully? He carried that awful war with him, rustling horses with a misguided gang of killers. Tell us straight, Father. Sir, we're in a moment of grief. A brave man, undone by pride, doomed to a life of sin and vice. Okay, fella. Let us pray for this man, O oh Father, provide him mercy. Amen. I ain't drunk, all right?
Ranger, watch, pistol. Thanks indeed for your talk to our Sunday school class. <laughs> Thought you might like this drawing young Josh did of you. Dear Jeremiah, there ain't nothing here any value. I wouldn't give you a nickel for it. Come by for a sup of whiskey anytime. Bill. Yes. I was sorry to hear of Betsy's passing. Things is easier up. April 2nd, 1870. Dear Mr. Thompson, I'm afraid there's no more work for you down here at the plantation. I'm grateful for the help you've given us and the help your pappy and your pappy's pappy gave us before you. These are trying times for all of us. You are in our thoughts and prayers. That's the old watch. Now the ledger and the pistol. Okay, where is all this old crap? God damn it. Told you to stay away from the boy. He don't want this. Heck. Ah, a trap door, huh? <laughs> huh? What you doing here? We found this place first. Yeah. Easy. Just looking around for some things. Hmm. That old revolver yours. Hmm. Finders keepers. Ah! Son of a bitch! Oh, God damn it! Damn it. Oh, come on, Dan! Where are you going? Come on! It's ours!
crystal. Uh, just the ledger now. Dear Mr. Thompson, after numerous complaints from customers and fellow employees alike, we must terminate your employment. There's just no place for a man like you at the Central Union Railroad Company. This your ledger? A list of slaves? Uh... Rewards. January 15th, Betsy. $17. I was somewhere near Rhodes when they caught me. Till the day I die, I ain't gonna forget the sound of that dog barking in my heels. But I don't suppose that day... God... They threw us away like, like shit on their boot. I'm, times wasn't perfect. I ain't saying that. It's just... It's all... Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> you sh show some respect. I was respected once. I had a profession. You asked me to get you something. There's no bringing back what I want. I want my job. My pride. The respect accorded to a gentleman. What about this old crap? Huh? My things. Don't you understand? Those bastards, they changed everything. I was a good worker. 
I took pride in my work. They, they, they took it away. Pissed on my legacy. Old man, some jobs ain't for saving. And some legacies? Oh, do you... They are for Ooh, pissing What off. are you doing? That's, that's my history. Damn you! Damn you! I still exist! I need medicine. Damn. What happened to you? Hey. Okay. I just tried that plan over there. It was like a gunshot. Oh. The one with the pink flowers. Tiny little bastard. Steer clear. Thanks, mister. I owe you my life. Some things you learn the hard way. Yeah. You can... You can say that again. Whew. Let's go, boy.
Let's get you cleaned up. How you doing, boy? Come on now, boy. Stew without good meat is no stew at all, Mr. Morgan. Thank you, Arthur. Morning. So, what do you think of the place? Seems fine. For now. Yep. Should buy us a bit of time, I hope. You okay, Arthur? You want to talk? Yes. What's been going on with you? I don't know. I... What? Been acting kind of crazy. Mm-hmm. How so? I've been killing. A lot. I mean, 
Innocent folk. I don't know why. Yeah, that's bad, Arthur. That's real bad. I know. I just... Well... You know me. Sure. I know you. But then you go act all crazy. Yeah, but, but I've always been crazy. No, you haven't. Maybe Ma can put a spell on me. And maybe you're just being a fool. Well, there's always that. Arthur! Yes, kid. You got a lot on? Ah, uh, just hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Hosea seem to think is out there just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Why? I got something. Could be good. Yeah? Yeah, I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here who think their war ain't never ended. The Civil War? Yeah, apparently it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. That ain't my point. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. And in their dealings, sometimes sit on a decent pile of cash. Yeah, been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Anyway, the old boy I was talking to reckoned there might be a bunch of cash just sitting around. And failing that, maybe a nice stash of weapons. With just a bunch of crazies, Gardner? Exactly. Well... Worth taking a look at least, isn't it? That was my thinking. Said it was at some place called Shady Bear, deep in the woods. Okay. <laughs> All right, then. Let's go rob some food. You know, I might have met these crazies before. You've been drinking again? No. Well, yes, but no, that's not how I might have met them. I think some of them harangued me and Sadie when we were coming back with supplies. Mrs. Adler? Yeah. And Mrs. Adler did just fine. More than fine, actually. She's terrifying. But I got a notion these fellers is one and the same. Yeah, we won't find no shortage of angry Peckerwood idiots in the state of Lemoyne. That's for sure. Is it really that different in this state? We haven't come far. It seems like it is. These boys got a manner about them, but I haven't necessarily noticed. All respect, Mr. Morgan. You wouldn't notice. Might call you a nigger lover. They see us riding like this. But most of it is a... A glance or a word. And after that, a visit in the night. Don't leave me out west is out west is out west. And you're all who you are. Right. Decent folks. But some places down here, they judge differently. Well, hell no. Guess it can't be so easy for you, Lenny. Sorry you're caught up in this. Well, I guess their gold's still shiny. And their guns still shoot. <laughs> so I'm game for robbing any and every one of these bastards for all they got. <laughs> okay, then. Plus, it beats being lynched back in Blackwater with all of you by my side. I guess it does. Feels like we're close. 
It's a rundown old plantation house, down in the bayou somewhere. Let's take it slow. Be cautious. If, like you say, these crazies are sitting on weapons, we're gonna want to strategize a little before getting shot at. <laughs> of course. They said find the old battlefield and keep on going. Yeah, I've been here before. I can see the wrecked old Civil War weaponry. Where are the wrecked old Civil War holdouts? You see that church up ahead? They're supposed to use it as an outpost. Heard they got men going between here and the big house all day. Okay. Look at this field. <laughs> Imagine getting caught up in a fight like this. Yeah, I don't care to. Hold those reins in. Let's just take a look around the place. I hear you. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's here. We don't know that for sure. Let's have us a nosy. Hold. Hey, come on. I'll lead you there. Hear that? Someone's on the track. Look there, the wagon. Let's see where he's going. You're on me now. Huh? Right behind you. Let's keep our distance. Just two fellers out on the road. Those crates in the back. They look like explosives to you? Could be. Worth a follow, at least. I think I see something. End of the avenue, between the trees. Might be it. Might be. Keep it steady. Hey, big plantation house. <laughs> Must be Shady Bear. I reckon we can leave our mounts up there, off the trail. Good enough to me. See anything? Yes. Yes. They're here, all right. And they're armed. Almost a militia. You ain't seen anything worth shooting or stealing? Can you look again for me? Hey, move that scope over to the right. We got men everywhere. <laughs> Off near the porch. Got men covering the house. Got a Gatlin gun up there, too. Well, they got that house locked down real tight. Hey, we came all this way, so can you look again and see if you spot anything? I know dynamite crates when I see them. We got something, right? Oh, we got something. We can hit them head on, fight them honest. Or you could go down there acting friendly. Friendly? With these folks? Just draw them into one spot. Then I'll start shooting. Well, that might be the dumbest idea I've ever heard. 
But hey, I'm always up for a performance. So, what are we doing? We're gonna hit him head on. You save your play acting for Jose and the girls. <laughs> Fine by me. Soon as you shoot, I'll go. Not yet. This one looks good. Search it. Search it. I think we should search the crates, Arthur.
here. Come on. This is full of new rifles. We can sell those, right? We sure can. We'll check the rest later. Now, come on. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Get this back to camp. Yep. Tip it out here. Yeah. Don't spare the nag. Come on. Come on. G up. Fall in. Yeah. Well, you ain't signed with right. the whip. Coming our way. Keep it together here. Hey! Stop! What's a black feller doing coming out of Shady Bell? In one of our wagons! anyone chasing us. I should think we're out of the woods then, so to speak. <laughs> boy, oh boy. <laughs> you did good. We did it. Well, let's get to camp before saying anything like that. I know Sean's been bringing in quite a lot lately, and I wanted to... Good to have something to show like this. Sean's a loudmouth bragging. Don't worry about what Sean does. Hey, I like him, you know? Well, so do I. It's my better judgment. Just you worry about you. He wasn't on Leviticus Cornwall's train with me. We had to dig him out of Blackboard. But... Enough but nothing. Me and Dutch...